Well, hello there, all you young buccaneers, and welcome to your first day of pirate school. I hope you are all having a wonderful, adventurous, imaginary summer. And what better way to have an imaginary adventure than to become an imaginary pirate? But before you can do that, there are a few things you need to learn, and that is why you are at pirate school today. First thing we need to do is to learn how to look like a pirate. And what does every good pirate need? Why, a pirate hat, of course. If you don't have a pirate hat, you are in luck because I am going to show you how to make a very simple one today. All you need is a piece of newspaper and some tape. Let's get started. You are gonna lay your newspaper out flat on the table. Now, we are gonna fold it in half. We're gonna fold it the hamburger way. You kids in school have probably heard hamburger and hot dog before. We are going to fold our piece of paper in half the hamburger way. Now, once it's done, fold it in half. Up here in the top where your fold is, you're going to take the corner and fold it to the middle on both sides. Crease it. So, we took the top corner and folded it to the middle on both sides. Now we're going to put a little bit of tape down here because we want to hold that in place. We don't want your hat flying apart when you're out there in the wind on your ship. Now, on the bottom, we're going to fold these pieces up. We've got two pieces. So we're going to fold the piece up on each side. So we folded one piece up on that side. We're going to flip it over and fold it up on the other side as well. So now we've got our folds on the bottom on both sides. We're going to put a little bit of tape on the bottom to hold those folds up. And ta-da! You have your very own pirate hat. Now, maybe you don't want to look like a newspaper pirate. That's okay. Because now is the fun part. You get to decorate your pirate hat any way that you want to. You could use crayons. You can use markers. You can use paint. Make it any color you want. Make it all kinds of colors. You could add any decorations you want. If you have sparkles or glitter, if you have feathers, anything you want to add. Let me show you how I made my hat. I put black paper over the top of it because I heard pirates like the color black sometimes. I added a little feather to the top. I made a fun little Jolly Roger on here. He's a happy little Jolly Roger out of some white construction paper. I have some stickers on here, star stickers. You can add other stickers if you like to collect dog or cat stickers or whatever you have. It is your pirate hat. You can design it however you want. So when you are ready, let's put on our pirate hats and we are on our way to being a pirate. Now, it's not enough just to look like a pirate. You need to sound like a pirate. So it is very important to learn how pirates talk to one another. Now, if you see a friend pirates down the street or on the other ship and you want to say hello to your friend pirates. We don't say hello, we say ahoy matey. Everybody say that with me. Ahoy matey. That's how you say hello to your pirate friends. We're going to put that up here by our little pirate in the ship. He's saying ahoy matey to all his friends on the ship. Now another important word to say, what if you see a scary crocodile or a scary sea monster? What are you going to say? If you're a good pirate, you are going to say, Shiver me timbers. Ooh, shiver me timbers. That means there's something very scary. You're going to let everybody else know about it. Our pirates right here are saying, Shiver me timbers, because they might see a scary sea monster down there in the water. All right, let's practice one more time. We see our friends. We say, Ahoy, mateys. We see something scary. We say, Shiver me timbers. All right, we are looking like a pirate. We are sounding like a pirate. Now, any good pirate also needs to know geography. If you're a pirate and you are sailing around the world, you have to know where you are and where you're going. So on our map today, we are going to go to the Atlantic Ocean. Can anybody show me where the Atlantic Ocean is on our map? If you said right here, you are correct. The Atlantic Ocean is in between North America and South America on the west side and Europe and Africa on the east side. 
the Atlantic Ocean, right in between there. So today, one of our friends is gonna go sailing on the Atlantic Ocean. This is the ship of Blackbeard, the very famous pirate. He was a famous pirate in the 1700s. He sailed on a ship called the Queen Anne's Revenge. He liked to sail in the Caribbean a lot, but today he's going to go sailing in the Atlantic Ocean. So let's put him up there. There we go. And he is on his adventure. Now, here, what's another thing that pirates like to do? I'll tell you what they like. They like to read. Every good pirate likes to read. I will show you a couple books that will be good for your piratey adventures this summer. This is Fluffy, Scourge of the Sea by Teresa Bateman. In this book, Fluffy gets captured by some pirates. Now, what is a poodle to do when he is captured by pirates? Will he have to walk the plank? Read Fluffy, Scourge of the Sea to find out if he gets away from those pirates. Now, if you're not able to check this book out, you can look it up on YouTube. There are some read-alouds, so you can listen to Fluffy online. Now, Maybe some of you older pirates are looking for something a little bit more challenging. A good book that every pirate needs to read is Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. In this book, our young friend Jim Hawkins is on an adventure looking for treasure of gold, but he's going to run into the fearsome pirate Long John Silver. What is going to happen? What adventure awaits on their search for the treasure? Read Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. If you're not able to check out the book, it is also available on Cloud Library as an ebook. You can get that through the Siouxland Library's website. So there you have it, folks. Our first day of pirate school, we are starting to look like a pirate. We are starting to sound like a pirate. We are reading like a pirate and we are sailing the world like a pirate. Let's review one more time. When we see our friends, we say, ahoy matey. When we see something scary, we say, shiver me timbers. And today we are sailing the Atlantic Ocean with the pirate Blackbeard. Now, next time we are gonna work on our pirate wardrobe a little bit more. What is something that every pirate needs to find their way? They need a spyglass. So make sure you join us next time. We are gonna make your very own spyglass in pirate school. Thanks for stopping by. Keep reading, keep imagining all summer long. Bye-bye.